All right, today we're going to take a look at adding the power control panel to our tools folder. And why would we want to do that? Well, the power control panel is, you know, it's one of your number one places you're probably going to want to go if you're having an issue and you start thinking that it could be throttling of something or something is turning off without warning. Just make sure that you're getting the highest performance from your system. Check all the angles. One of the first places you're going to want to check is that power control panel. What we're going to do is, if you haven't already, create a folder on our desktop. If you've already created a folder, you can skip to the next step down in the video timeline below. If you haven't created a folder, we're just going to right click on an empty portion of the desktop. Go down to new, click folder, give the folder a unique name. Once you get done with this, if you want to take it from system to system, drag it onto a USB drive. You can do that as well. But for now, we're just creating on the desktop. Once we create that folder, we're going to go into that folder, go down to new, and we're going to click shortcut. And that's going to open up the shortcut creation wizard. From within the shortcut creation wizard, we're going to type this file path. We're going to paste this down in the video description below. So if you just want to copy and paste it, you can do that as well. That location is percentage sign W I N D I R percentage sign backslash system 32 backslash control.exe space power cfg dot cpl next we're going to give it a unique name you can call it power options windows power power control panel and then click finish once we click finish that's going to create the shortcut in our folder but it's not going to have an icon yet or maybe it will, but we're going to give it a proper icon. So we're going to right click on that shortcut, go down to properties, go to change icon, and then just give it an icon that looks like it has something to do with power. You may get this icon location by default. If there's not one in there that you like, you can get the little battery icon. You can get that by typing in percentage sign, system root, percentage sign, backslash system32 backslash power cfg dot cpl enter and that's going to bring up the little battery icon you can double click that apply and okay and there is our shortcut to the power yep. options in the control panel we can configure the power plans for the operating system this should be the one of the first places you're going to want to check if you're having an issue and you think something is throttling. You're going to want to make sure that the operating system itself isn't throttling things. So we can come in here and if you're on a laptop, you probably want balanced or maybe power saver. But if you're on a desktop and you're trying to get the highest performance, you're going to want high performance. So there's usually a high performance option. And then you can click the change plan settings link over here. And that'll take you to another section where you can change when the display will turn off enter into power saving mode change when the computer goes to sleep you can click this link to change advanced power settings and that'll open another pop-up box then you can come down and change some of the power saving features down here or turn them all off so that you get the highest performance possible so in this case, if we're looking at a hard disk, decide if you want those to turn on and off. And if so, after how many minutes? Change the JavaScript timer frequency. Background settings, slideshow is available. Wireless adapter settings, maximum performance. Sleep, do you want the system to enter into sleep? If so, after how many minutes? USB settings. So you can use USB selective suspend settings. We keep that disabled because that can just cause issues on a desktop computer. And in some cases, this is not the be all end all of uh, places where you can configure the power saving features of Windows. If you're so, having a mouse issue where it's continuously disconnecting, you can see the video that we posted quite a while back 
about the Steel Series mice that were disconnecting, and we were able to fix it on our system going in with the device manager, disabling all the power saving tabs within the listed devices. And you can check out that video by clicking the links in the top right of this video. But for now, we're gonna make sure that's disabled here for highest performance. The Intel graphics settings, we want maximum performance, PCI Express, link state power management. Do you want the operating system to control the power throttle and engage the hardware in the PCI slots? We're going to turn that off. Processor power management. Minimum processor stay to 100. System cooling policy, be active. The maximum processor state, we want to be 100 as well. Display, we have that set to turn off after three minutes. Multimedia settings, when sharing media, prevent idling to sleep. We don't want the system to go to sleep while we're in the middle of tasks. What's going on? Video playback quality bias, we want performance. Video quality, we want to optimize. Hit apply, okay. And that's your new power plan. This is just going to give us that link in our tools folder so that we can go in there. If we're having a problem with power of a device, and you can name this something else. You want to name it power plans, whatever helps you wrap your head around what's going on with this shortcut. And then if you want to, you can add it to the taskbar. Right clicking on an empty portion of the taskbar, going to toolbars and going to new toolbar. And locating your tools folder on your desktop double click that and then click select folder down here and you'll have it added right to your taskbar so you're just one click away now you can't do this on windows 11 yet for some reason they removed it hopefully they'll bring it back some people have been asking but if you're on windows 10 you can add this to the taskbar like that and you'll have all your tools right down here and when you get so many of them you can just collapse the toolbar area on the taskbar It'll create this condensed version of the tools folder. And then you can just click the arrow next to it and click your shortcut that way. And you start thinking, check all the angles. One of the first places you're going to want to check is that power control panel. 